Social media tips for small businesses. Shoot! For any business. Social media is really where it's at. And many people find that's a huge hurdle. The biggest thing is content. And I'm going to put a link down below. And I put up a great video on how to create content. It is just on stinking believable. You're going to love it. And hang on till the very end. Because I got a great resource for you. That will help you in your journey. See, before you create any content. Before you create any content. Whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You really need to know two things. What's your message? Right? And I didn't know that right away. I, I was just kind of all over the place. When I first got started, I was in network marketing. And then I thought I'd be an affiliate marketer. And I was kind of all over the place. I was putting out quotes. I was doing this and that. But I really didn't have a message. See, my message right now is my goal, my message, my mission is to help people just like you and me create their freedom. Time freedom and financial freedom. And I can do that through education. So the two things. Find your message. What are you going to talk about? It could be anything, right? There's categories out there. There's, you know, you can talk to people about wealth, about health, and about relationships. That's really the three main categories about what you want to do. And, man, get your voice and get out there. Now, when you find your message, now you got to figure out who are you going to be talking to. And I know you hear this a lot, because I heard a lot, and I, I kind of paid attention to it, and I really didn't. And, you know, guess what? I wasn't going nowhere. I really wasn't. I wasn't accomplishing anything, and I couldn't figure out why. See, I thought everybody needed to hear my message, and they all do. People do, guess, but not everybody's going to listen to you. So I had to really bear down and find out who I'm talking to. And 90% of the time, it's the pre-you. It's you and why you got started in business. Right? And then there's the after you. You want to take them on that journey. So it doesn't matter what you want to do. You can be wanting to talk to people who lose weight, who are struggling in their business, or maybe it's people who want to travel. Right? So find your message in that group and find out who you want to talk to. Then find out... Do they already have a product or service? Or are they looking for a product or service? See, all that is part of it. Speak to people exactly where they're at. See, I, I have a couple. They call them avatars, ideal clients. I have a couple of them. One is me. It really is. See, I was looking for a way to get out of what I was doing, to enjoy my freedom, time, and financial. But to tell you the truth, I was really, I had an okay job. I didn't mind it. I had a high school teacher. I had summers off. I enjoyed my time. I enjoyed kids. It, but there was something missing. See, I thought I could talk to more people. I knew I could help. I, you know, we're put here for greatness. You're put here for greatness. So get out and speak to people who are looking for you. So the two things, right? Your message, who are you talking to? Then you got to find out where are they. Are they on Facebook? Are they on Instagram? Younger people tend to be on Instagram, although that's changing. Facebook, you know, if you're talking to a guy who's golfing and maybe he's on Facebook, or you're talking to some young person who likes to travel and be on glorious beaches, they're probably on Instagram. They could be on Pinterest. They could be on LinkedIn. Or they could be on YouTube, where you are right now. In fact, that's really probably the best place to be at this time they could be in your email folder but find out where they are and start talking to them start giving them your message and then what you want to do you got to talk to them exactly where you're at but what you want to do is you want to develop a value ladder and let me talk to you about this value ladder and i didn't understand it you know i i heard of this through russell brunson and um i, I i'll put a picture right there or it's going to cover the whole screen of value ladder looks but it's actually if you look it's like a staircase okay and the, the very bottom so you talk to a cold market warm market and uh, extremely hot market see the cold market is just, that's at the bottom of your value ladder you're giving away something free like i have my free b resource 
That's how to create a six-figure income online without leaving your home, cold calling, or doing any paid ads. It's a great resource. And I have another, I shouldn't say another, I have a couple more freebies that people tie into also. Depends who I'm talking to and when I'm talking to. But the very bottom of that value ladder is a freebie. And then I go up. And the next step is my first course. I build a course. And I suggest at some point in your business, you do too. And it's a very inexpensive course. The first one started at $7 and I priced it too low. Then I raised it to $27 and now I, my first one is a $47. And why? Because it has great value. See, I over deliver. It's a $447 product that I put down to $47. Because I want to help people build their digital marketing. So it's, that's what it's called. Digital Marketing Blueprint. I show them how to get started online. So after that, all right, so I got my freebie. You get another course right here, introductory course, $27, $47, $97. And then you go out and maybe it's your core course. Could be four, $497, $597, could be $997. Right in here, what you're doing, it's cold, getting a little warmer. This is your hot market where your core product is. They've already trusted you. They've already learned how to, that you're going to give them value and teach them where they want to go. See, that's the key, where they want to go, that you're going to help them. And then I have my highest step, right? The high ticket level is where people get to see the most of me that they get contact me, and that's just in videos. It's in a mastermind group where it's one-on-one -on -one teaching, or it's in like a group teaching. And it's just a great place to go. And I've been, I've done it with people all the way through. I've gotten on their, I bought a product. I've gotten on their list. I bought a product. I've gotten to like their core product, and then I got into their mastermind group or their one-on-one -on -one coaching. That's all that is. That's where it's at. Now you got to find out where these people are at, right? You got to get in front of them all the time. You can do it. It's easy to or on their Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, etc. Keep looking at your client demographics. If they're young, they're going to be on Instagram, right? If they're maybe me, I'll be on Facebook. Might be on LinkedIn if I want to go business to business. If they're a mom at home who likes to create things, they might be on Pinterest or again on Instagram. So find out where they're at. That's all the way there it is. So the social media tips, here's the biggest one. You need to find out two things. You need to find out your message and you need to find out who you're talking to. And then you gotta put out content related to that. The biggest thing is get started. People need to hear your voice. They need to hear you right now. I guarantee it, they're, they're waiting for you. There's somebody out there that's just waiting to hear you help them through their choices right now. So click on the link below, grab that free resource, and give me a like, make a comment, tell me where you're at in your business, or if you're looking for a business, or ask me how I can help you in your way. Hit that subscribe button, and then that little bell that goes ding, 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 because it lets you know when I put out great videos. Not great videos, when I put out videos, but they are great. So you take care, peace out. I'll talk again soon.